is going on guys we are back with another video this one is a little different than our normal video um, right now we are actually on our way to um, Denver International Airport and I mean as you guys seen by the title uh, we are gonna go pick up another car I'm not gonna tell you what car until I get into um, into Washington that's where I, where well, this, this vehicle actually is um, so we are on the way to Washington right now it's currently 30 a.m. so it's super super dark outside and it's not even not even time to wake up yet but we're finally uh, we're finally up after the hour and a half sleep I got so um, yeah we're gonna fly out fly out here we're going to get there around it's, it's about 10 10 30 we should get there um, 10 30 10 40 uh, that's Washington time so that'd be about 11 30 here um, but yeah so I'll basically just take you guys along with the journey there and then we'll see what kind of car we're picking up. Made it in the airport, about to go through um, security real quick, and hopefully we can find the um, the door pretty quick. Like I said, I've never, I've actually never flown Delta before, so we'll see how easy it is to find. But it, it shouldn't be too bad. But uh, security doesn't look too bad either, so we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so I know I didn't uh, do any recording off of the plane, but as you can see, we are in the M3 right now. Um, just to give you a little quick walk around on it, it is the, um, it is the Le Mans blue one. There's only 185 of these made. It's already got H&R um, lowering springs on it, uh, front carbon fiber lip as you can see. Uh, overall, pretty clean car. Like I said, there's some small cosmetic things I need to do on it, but for the most part, um, like I said, there's like some small stuff like um, the buttons I'm gonna replace. I'm gonna redo the steering wheel because BMW's nice little uh, coating that always rubs off on BMWs. Um, like I said, just some super small stuff that I want to do. Uh, got some snacks on the way back. Uh, I did. This is my first fill up. I'm about. So I started out, um, I basically had 15 hours and, I forgot, 15 hours and some some, some change on it. Um, but we are about probably half an hour in right now. Uh, I filled up. What I am gonna try and do, um, as you can see, we got about, I'm just gonna reset that real quick. So um, I think this fill up was like right at 60 or 70 bucks. Um, and I'm basically gonna see how many, how many fill ups we can do. It's about a thousand miles away. Um, if we can average about 200 a tank, that's about so two, 250. I think we can do about 250 per tank. So that'll be about um, what is it? Four Phillips. Uh, we're probably gonna have to end up doing five, but we should be home around. Uh, it says 5:05 now. It was just 4:49, but I stopped, and got some snacks, so we should be good until the next gas station. Um, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little update, and we'll get back on the road.
came here to get gas, um, and I kept buying chargers. Well, I bought one. I brought one with me, and it kept not turning on. And I was like, well, you know, this one was out and that one was out. So I'm like, okay, well, I know it's a fuse. Come down here, start looking at fuses. All the ones that they're all the ones that they're saying online are are good. Keep checking it out. Keep checking it out. Playing videos. I replace. Well, I check this one up here. Nothing. That a lot of them say plug in the one down here. Nothing. The last guy. Well, as you, if you could see all these, they have a bottom contact but no upper contact. This one with the yellow one right here was the last one that had both contacts. So. Old dude, I bought it from must have been um, remove remove the the fuse and didn't put it back. So, and I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of stressing out. My phone's at five percent. I still got eight hours left of driving. Um, yeah, and it was kind of stressing me out, but we got it fixed, so that's all that matters. So we're back on the road, and then I need oil. So yeah, whatever, we'll get it. All right, guys, and I did forget to mention that. Um, I spent, what was it, uh, $78 on gas this last go around. Um, so yeah, and I got 200 and I think a 60, 60 miles on it. But yeah, just kind of updating you on it. closer we're only like what 500 500 miles away now um, I just put up um, again now um, we have 500 miles left a little over five we have 500 let me see 521 so I I think I can get home as long as all the hills and all that are good and the gas mileage stays pretty good um, I think I can get home with just one more tank so I, I just did this fill up I think I can do one more fill up and make it home Gas was a lot cheaper over here in, uh, in Utah than it was um, back in the other few states. Like I said, I paid five. What was it? Five thirty-nine, I think. And Ogden, right here, or yeah, I guess it's Ogden. Um, I paid four thirty-nine, so it's a whole dollar cheaper. Um, like I said, some places in Colorado right now are three three seventy, I think, at like Sam's. So it's not too bad. But um, just coming back on here, give you guys a little. That little update we're getting there. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try and push through, through the whole night. Like I said, I'm only, I only have two hours of sleep right now, uh, which I mean it's all right. I got a, I guess, 30 minute nap on the, on the airplane, which isn't bad. But I'm gonna try and go as long as I can. Uh, worst case scenario, I gotta pull over and stop for a little bit. But from what we're looking at right now, 5:30 I should be home, so that would be nice. Um, but yeah, just giving you guys a little quick update. got me I ain't I'm not gonna lie it's a uh, you know I mean he's, he's kind of cool but what they did is right before the tunnel it's a 65 it the, the speed limits a 75 all the way all the way throughout which uh, kind of messed up you know you said on a cruise control yeah of course he's sitting right on the other side of the tunnel it is what it is like I said you can't I, like I told him I was like I can do I can't argue with you I mean clearly yeah I'm just sitting here cruising I mean I'm, been driving for 14 hours, you know. It is what it is, but yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna get a ticket. I'm about to pay, but and then he's gonna take the plates off here too. So I didn't know they were expired, but yeah. But just to inform you guys. Almost made it. Almost made it with no tickets, but here we are. All right, guys. Fill up again. Hopefully, this is the last. I can't even see it. Seventy four oh one. Um got three hundred and nine miles out of that other tank. Um I actually did end up pulling over and napping for a few hours. Um but yeah, so we have or is it three or two hundred and fourteen miles left, so we can make it home on this tank as you see we just did three hundred and something 
300, what was it, 301 miles or whatever. But yeah, we're in the sketchy gas station over here. It's not even lit up. Super sketch. But got gas. This is the, I had, four, what was it, 40 miles until empty. Um, and the next gas station after this one was going to be 55 miles. So good thing we stopped. But here we're almost. As you can see, there's Denver. So we got up, up there to 25 and 25 over and should be good. But yeah, we're gonna keep going. What is going on guys um it's been a few days since i got back i forgot kind of where i left off on the video um but we did make it back to colorado like i showed um the first day i got back basically the first like hour i already had um i got uh what do you call it insurance on it plates on it i went down to the the what do you call it uh yeah i mentioned emissions <clears throat> and then i went down to the uh, the dmv and actually got uh, my plates that i sold my old van for i just got the plates uh, transferred on them so uh, everything was super cheap and fast uh i have ordered a bunch of parts i'm basically going to make this this whole video basically the the traveling um like journey to pick up the vehicle the next vehicle um i do want to get the car back to 100 percent oem so as you can see uh i know i didn't show you the wheels on the car but these are the set of rears for some reason i just think the the bmws need to maintain the michelin pilot sports i love those tires they, uh, the, I love the tread pattern and everything about them. I picked these up, these are used, but as you can see, they're in super good condition. Um, like the wear, wear bars aren't even, I mean, I'm sure these tires have 90% left out of them. I actually got these off the front of a dude's uh, CTSV. So they're the OEM spec, the 265, 35, 19, and I ordered the fronts. Um, but what's on here right now, I do not like the, the wheel setup that was previously on the car. Um, like I said, on the next video, I'll, I'll kind of run through the car a little more. I just want it back to 100%. As you can see, my plates, those were the ones on the van and the ones on the E90, or I mean, sorry, the F80. So, like I said, I think it's pretty cool. Um, but like I said, I, a quick rundown. Um, like I said, the, the, the wheels I'm doing, uh, they need like floor mats. The little center buttons for the EDC traction control, all a bunch of just small stuff. I did wash the car, and uh, I went to a meet today, so it's actually finally washed. Um, I ended up fixing the little exhaust. The two hangers up top weren't even connected, so it was kind of dangling. It's all 100%. I am gonna get different exhaust tips on there. Like I said, the next video, I'll run, I'll run through the video a little more and show you actually everything I'm gonna do to it and all the parts. Like I probably spent a few. I think it's like a, a couple thousand dollars just buying um, parts. Like I said, I do have the rod bearings, spark plugs, valve cover, uh, valve cover gaskets, all that on the way. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I want this car back to 100% stock. The window tint is getting done on Wednesday. I'll make a video of all of this stuff. Um, but like I said, it is coming along. I have a bunch of parts coming for it. So I am gonna make either one video or a few videos on all the parts that I'm gonna install on it. But as of right now, I am gonna end this video off here. So like I said guys, I am going to end off the video here. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I know it's a little different from um, from all the builds we're always doing. But you know, I, I figured I would just get um, some videos on just like the, the smaller things. You know, like wheel spacers, lowering springs. Um, I do have a video in mind uh, later on. I want to do a comparison between, you know, the, uh, the E90 and the F80. You know, like what I notice about it. Um, and like help people if they're trying to decide between the two. Uh, basically which one they would prefer you know so I have some ideas uh, for videos coming up I'm, I'm gonna get the GTI running uh, the Evo I need the hood painted I've been doing that I know it was messed up really bad in the front that's coming soon I got all the paint and everything here so but as of now that is gonna wrap up this video I appreciate you guys clicking on the video and watching it um, hopefully you made it this far if you have any questions like always uh, comment down below and please subscribe if you enjoy the video and you like this kind of content mm -hmm.